Suddenly, Liu, the renowned master, grasped Shen Hong's psychology, cheerfully stroked his beard, and said, Shen Hong, experiencing life and death has indeed enlightened you. All wealth is futile. Personal strength is paramount. Although power within the city is favorable, it limits your development. Without relying on your innate talent, you would have broken through the Grandmaster realm long ago. Hearing this, Shen Hong felt somewhat comforted. Indeed, unfortunately, I realized it too late. Observing this scene, Zhang Zhuan couldn't bear it any longer. From behind, he slapped Shen Hong on the back, causing him to stumble to the ground. Then, angrily, he shouted, Do you want to die? If you want to fight, then fight. Why so much talk? The blow left him with swollen bumps on his head, unconscious. Seeing this, Zhang Zhuan calmed down and addressed them. The time for perfect elixirs is limited, only about a stick of incense worth. Your family name doesn't even hold authority, yet you keep babbling on, claiming to have realized something profound. After a stick of incense, you'll be dead. Isn't that a waste, even of my perfect elixir concoction? Shen Tu and the three renowned masters stood outside, staring in astonishment. Didn't we just wake him up? Could there really be a method to knock someone out in order to find an illness? Next, Zhang Zhuan approached to check the old master's pulse for any issues. At that moment, the Heavenly Way bookstore transmitted to him, Shen Hong, the patriarch of Tian Zhuan City, Shen Tui, is currently at the level of Strongman New Grand Master Realm. Shen Tui anxiously asked, Master Zhang, can the old master still be saved? Zhang Zhuan reassured him, There's no need to worry too much. It's not too late now. Let's focus on waking him up first. A while later, Shen Hong gradually regained consciousness, quickly sitting up and rubbing his head as if enlightened. Zhang Zhuan interjected, Now, I'll give you two choices. The first is to break through to the Grand Master Realm and continue living. The second is, like you said earlier, dying is also fine, and I'm too lazy to bother with treatment. Upon hearing about the offer of a buy one, get one free deal where he could both live and advance to the Grand Master Realm, he shot up like the wind, unable to believe what he had just heard. But to break through is very simple. Just listen to me, no opposition, and absolutely no resistance. Otherwise, I won't have any other options, which also means I'll instruct you to do something, and you must do it without questioning, no room for negotiation. Seeing such a favorable turn of events, Shen Hong's face lit up with joy like a dazzling sunrise, agreeing to all the conditions Zhang Xuan laid out. This is no big deal as long as it helps me break through. I'll do anything. In a corner, the three renowned masters sighed helplessly. We didn't expect him to not even know what to do yet agree so quickly. It's truly beyond comprehension. What if he ends up being led into a dangerous situation? Seeing Shen Hong's agreement, Zhang Zhuan quickly turned around his expression serious without any hint of jest. Summon Shen Tui. Bring some hot and attractive female dancers with beautiful figures here. Although somewhat puzzled and skeptical, dancers only knew how to dance. Some didn't even have cultivation. What use could they possibly serve? Moreover, they had to have beautiful figures. Why does this sound more like a treatment plan? Could it be that Master Zhang also wants to bippity boppity boo? While pondering this, he quickly dismissed the irrelevant thoughts. Forget it. No need to overthink. I can't fathom the wisdom of Master Zhang. I'll just follow his instructions. Swift as the wind, he quickly summoned three scantily clad, seductive dancers. Master Liu whispered to the others, Hem, hum, hum. Not sure what Master Zhang intends to do, but this breakthrough method is worth studying. Yes, I've seen Master Zhang's previous breakthrough methods, but this one needs further exploration. While Master Zhang is admirable, his breakthroughs are far from this. Suddenly, Zhang Zhuan approached, leaning close to Shen Tu's ear and murmured, prepare something. Not knowing what was going on, Shen Tu broke out in a cold sweat after hearing him. Master Zhang, if you're interested, I can provide whatever you want, but here, it might not be appropriate. Besides, with your robust physique, do you really need such things? While conversing with Zhang Zhuan, a flying shoe landed near Shen Tui, thrown by Shen Hong, urging him. Master Zhang said to do it. Subdue it quickly. Why so much talk? Hurry up, looking visibly agitated. Shen Tu quickly nodded and obeyed before carrying out the instructions. The two masters standing there couldn't help but be curious about what Zhang Chuan instructed Shen Tu to do. 
They turned to Lee Master and asked, to which he calmly replied in a low voice, It's spring medicine. The other two masters were shocked and didn't know what to say. Could it be? Finding a secluded spot, undressing, and adding this. Does Master Zhang really want to do that here? Meanwhile, Shen Tu brought a vial of spring medicine and a rope to Zhang Zhuan. Seeing that he had all the necessary tools, Zhang Zhuan instructed Shen Tu to tie the old master up. After receiving the order, Shen Tu stepped forward to bind Shen Hong. On the other hand, Zhang Zhuan looked at the pills in his hand, sighed deeply, then instructed Shen Tu to give these pills to the old master to consume. Although surprised, the old master complied under Shen Hong's urging. Why keep questioning? Hurry up and bring it over here. The other masters could only shake their heads in confusion, not knowing what else to say. They simply lowered their heads and sighed. The behavior is becoming increasingly strange. Should we intervene? It's not yet at the point where nothing can be done. Let's just wait and see. Remember, in the past, when I was beaten up by a boss, at least my reputation remained intact. But if the patriarch truly ruins himself in front of everyone for the sake of a breakthrough in cultivation, and ends up dying on the spot, then what? At that moment, Zhang Zhuan instructed the dancers to start performing. The dancers began to sway and move sensually, revealing their seductive body curves, captivating Shen Hong. Initially, he smirked to himself, thinking, at my age, I haven't had desires for a long time. But after a while, he glanced down at his pants, startled and embarrassed to find himself suddenly aroused. He hurriedly asked Chen Tui, Shen Tui, what did you give me to drink earlier? Receiving the awkward and difficult response, it's spring medicine. Shen Hong immediately exploded with anger upon realizing he had been given spring medicine and not just one pill, but several. He erupted, cursing Shen Tui. What the fuck are you trying to mess with me? I don't mind if you mess with your own mother, but who jokes with their own grandfather like this? Seeing Shen Hong so furious, Shen Tu panicked, sweating profusely and hastily waved his hands, saying, Master, please don't blame me. It was Master Zhang who instructed me to do so. However, Shen Hong didn't believe him. Reprimanding him, shut your mouth. Zhang Zhuan is a straightforward and noble master. How could he give me something like this? Are you trying to cover up your own mistake by blaming it on Zhang Zhuan? As the situation unfolded, Shen Hong's body began to heat up intensely, his whole body feeling like it was on fire. I can't hold on much longer, he exclaimed. Seeing the patriarch struggling, Shen Tu turned to Zhang Zhuan, urgently seeking a solution, only to receive a dismissive response. No need to worry, just let it be. At this moment, Master Cheng also turned to seek Li Master's opinion. Li Master, with your vast knowledge, can you identify what kind of breakthrough this is? Li Master was also at a loss. This breakthrough method, in all my years of experience, I have never heard of using spring medicine for a breakthrough. Master Cheng then asked further, Li Master, should we intervene to stop this? If we allow this to continue, what consequences might arise? Suddenly, Master Zhang spoke up. But Zhang Zhuan once helped me break through in an unconventional way, similar to this. It may not seem apparent, but it was ultimately for the benefit of the old master. However, Shen Hong has completely lost his mind now like a crazed old ram driven by lust, wanting to pounce on those beautiful dancers. If news of this spreads, it will tarnish our reputations irreparably. Moreover, the Grandmaster Realm is the first gateway in the Warrior of the Ninefold, like the transformation of a fish into a dragon. Once breakthrough is achieved, one becomes a figure of the highest quality, a supreme genius, unrivaled in the world, possessing the best state and the most profound aura. There's simply no way to succeed, ultimately. One will fail at this stage. Now, Shen Hong only desires to indulge in pleasure, losing all rationality sooner or later. How can success be possible? Shifting focus to Shen Hong. He was running sweat profusely, his breath becoming increasingly rapid. Eventually, unable to bear it any longer, his energy surged, snapping the rope and tearing apart his clothes with a loud roar. Those outside were collectively astonished never expecting him to successfully break through to the warrior of the Eightfold Grandmaster Realm stage, frightening the beautiful dancers to collapse in fear. Shen Tui immediately ordered them, Quick, withdraw! Now Shen Hong knelt down in gratitude. Many thanks to Master Zhang. 
Zhang Zhuan acknowledged the gratitude, then instructed him to rise. Shen Tui, still puzzled, approached him and asked, Master Zhang, what just happened? Zhang Zhuan began to explain to them, pointing at Shen Hong as he spoke. The patriarch is elderly, and his bodily functions have weakened to the extreme. At this point, his will to live is not particularly strong. It is precisely because of this that he can see through life and death, feeling no fear of death. In this state, whether it's the mental or physical aspect, he has entered an ancient stage. Forget about tonics or medications. Even if it's the most potent elixirs, they cannot help him break through the toughest barrier, the Grand Master Realm. Therefore, if we want him to continue living, we must first give him a reason to live. For any man, under the influence of such stimulants, especially when faced with the beauty of women, his bodily functions will undoubtedly be reignited, rejuvenating him, or in other words, rejuvenating him. Once enough accumulates, breaking through becomes much simpler. However, the most crucial factor is the patriarch's accumulated gang energy, cultivated over many years, creating an imbalance between yang and yin energies. Hence, the medicine earlier acted as a catalyst combined with the allure of the women. It was like igniting a flame in a pot of oil, immediately burning fiercely. The body's vitality converged and accumulated at a single point. Encountering such beauty, breaking through became inevitable. Shen Hong's eyes gleamed brightly as he absorbed the enlightenment, and the other masters also grasped the truth of breakthroughs, showing great reverence for Zhang Zuan. Emboldened by this, he confidently added, Therefore, when it comes to breakthroughs, there are many paths, not just following set rules. As masters, we must continuously refine and learn. Although he spoke confidently, Zhang Zuan felt fortunate inwardly. He had timely infused vital energy into the medicine earlier, clearing the blocked meridians, essential for success. However, he kept the purity of his celestial vital energy secret to avoid inquiries. Seeing the effective method employed by Zhang Zhuan, the other masters, all stuck at the halfway point of the Grand Master realm, clamored to ask whether using beauties and medicine for breakthroughs was viable. Before he could respond, an attendant arrived at the door, announcing, Your Majesty, teachers Lu Shen and Wang Chao, from Hong Than Academy, seek an audience. Upon hearing the news, Shen Tui puzzled over their visit, but instructed to escort them to the study nonetheless. He would meet them shortly thereafter. Zhang Xuan found it odd that the two had come to him seeking an audience earlier. Yet now they appeared here. Perhaps they had discovered his departure from the mansion and followed him. Seeing Shen Tu receiving guests, they quickly dispersed. Suddenly, Zhang Zhuan called him back, requesting to accompany him to meet the two teachers Lu Shen and Wang Chao, to which he agreed. Quickly, the two arrived at the study where the palace attendant ushered in Lu Shen and Wang Chao for an audience. Zhang Zhuan immediately recognized them as the two arrogant figures who had caused a commotion outside the gate earlier. It turned out they were the legendary Lu Shen and Wang Chao. Upon entering the hall, they paid their respects, saying, Lu Shen, Wang Chao pays respects to your majesty. Shen Tu directly asked them, What brings you here to seek him? Lu Shen went straight to the point. We humbly come with a request. We wish to borrow 300,000 gold coins from your majesty. Our reason is to pay homage to Master Zhang. As per custom, the entrance fee requires a payment of 300,000 gold coins. We will borrow this amount temporarily. Once we meet Master Zhang and he accepts us as disciples, we will return the sum. Rest assured, Your Majesty, the amount will be promptly reimbursed. Upon hearing about paying respects to Master Zhang, Shen Tu was slightly taken aback. At that moment, Zhang Zhuan, sitting beside them, interrupted the conversation. Are you sure Master Zhang will accept you as his disciples? If he doesn't, then this 300,000 won't be returned. What will you use to reimburse his majesty? Hearing the voice coming from the side, Lu Shen immediately turned to confidently address Zhang Zhuan. I, Lu Shen, have some reputation in Tan Zhuan City, and I am confident about this. As for whether Master Zhang accepts me or not, and whether the 300,000 will be returned, it's none of your concern. Besides, when conversing with Shen Tu, it's not your place to intervene. Zhang Xuan wasn't bothered by his words. He smiled faintly and replied, I'm not concerned. I just feel that once Master Zhang accepts you and doesn't return the money, there's no way to get it back. How will you explain that to his majesty? Unable to bear it any longer, Wang Chao furrowed his brow in annoyance and cautioned, 
May I remind this gentleman to mind his words. Master Liu Shen is the foremost shining star among the instructors at Hong Than Academy. Sooner or later, he will become a renowned master. It's absurd to think that he would default on a mere 300,000 gold coins. Not stopping there, Wang Chao added with a sharp tone. It's hard to swallow that someone like you would consider a small sum like this as if it were a debt of gratitude owed to a future master. At this point, Lu Shen cut Wang Chao off and turned to Shen Tui, saying, Your Majesty, I assure you that no matter what happens, even if Master Zhang doesn't return this sum, I will personally ensure its repayment within a short period. This amount is not significant enough to jeopardize my reputation. Shen Tu began to feel perplexed, seeking Zhang Zhuan's opinion for guidance. Sensing the situation, Zhang Zhuan casually remarked, It seems to me that Master Zhang no longer meets with outsiders, so even if he has the money, it's uncertain whether you can meet him. Seeing him repeatedly meddling in their affairs, Wang Chao shot him a sharp glance and retorted, Whether I meet him or not is my business. Isn't this gentleman overstepping his bounds a bit? I am here to borrow money from His Majesty, not from you. Whether to lend it or not is His Majesty's decision. It's not your concern. Looking at the tense situation, it seemed like a fight was about to break out. Shen Tu hurriedly intervened. All right, all right, it's just 300,000. Let's not make borrowing sound so harsh. Master Lu, Shen is my teacher, so giving it to you is no big deal. The two quickly expressed their gratitude and thanked him, but Lu Shen insisted. If it's said to be borrowed, then it's borrowed. I don't want to accept your majesty's goodwill. Following this, Shen Tui instructed Lu Gong Gong to escort them to collect the money. Before leaving, Lu Shen still turned back to say a few more words to Zhang Zhuan. Indeed, I don't know who you are, but discussing matters with his majesty here is probably not simple. However, I have a word of advice. When others are speaking, it's best not to interrupt, lest you become detestable. Then he gave him a sharp look, unaware that he would regret his behavior later. Upon reaching the door, Lu Shen asked, Lai Gong Gong, who is he? He replied, Ah, it's embarrassing. Even his majesty's servant doesn't know who he is. At the same time, in the study room, only Shen Tu and Zhang Zhuan remained. Master Zhang, I'm sorry, he probably doesn't know your identity. It was unintentional offense, and I hope you'll overlook it. Shen Tui apologized. Hearing this, Zhang Zhuan immediately waved his hand with a smile. It's all right. To achieve such accomplishments at a young age, a bit of arrogance is understandable. Finishing his words, he also apologized. I should also take my leave now. I hope your majesty quickly gathers enough transcendent realm insights. On the way of the Yang residence, Lu Shen reminded Wang Chao to be cautious. When we meet Master Zhang later, don't speak carelessly. Be straightforward and express your desire to become his disciple willingly. But Wang Chao paid no attention to his advice. Instead, he whispered into his ear, while sneakily glancing behind. That's the one who was in the palace earlier. Lu Shen frowned and called him out, no need to bother. Although his speech is not pleasant, his status is not simple, which allows him to converse with his majesty. It's best not to provoke him. There are more important matters at hand. Despite knowing this, Wang Chao still felt as if Zhang Zhuan was watching them, but his thoughts were quickly dispelled by Lu Shen. Perhaps he also wants to pay respects to Master Zhang. Let's not dwell on it. Steward's son is waiting at the gate. Let's quickly pay the fee and enter. They swiftly arrived in front of Sun Kong. Steward's son, here is the fee to pay respects to Master Zhang. Can we enter this time? However, Steward's son frowned in annoyance and replied, I've already told you before. From now on, Master Zhang won't accept any more money, and even if you offer more, it won't be accepted. If your name hasn't been called, then leave immediately. Don't cause trouble here. At this point, Wang Chao couldn't hold back any longer. He pointed straight at Sun's face and shouted, Sun Kong, you're just a lowly steward. Do you even know who you're talking to? See him getting angry like that. Lu Shen quickly reached out to restrain him, saying, Wang Chao, calm down. Then he turned to Sun and said, Steward Sun, there's probably no need to introduce ourselves further. Previously, we didn't bring enough money because we were unaware of the rules. This time, we brought the money and the letter. Please inform once more. If Master Zhang truly refuses to see us, then we'll have to give up. 
without causing any further inconvenience. Just then, Zhang Zhuan walked up, casually entering the residence. Seeing their surprise and realizing that the person they disliked was allowed in while they were not, Lu Xin lost his temper and shouted in frustration, Steward's son, what's going on here? We brought the money and the letter, so why aren't we allowed in? What right does that person have to enter without even acknowledging us? Suddenly, he calmed down, noticing the people around discussing. Is this guy really dumb? Did he teach stupidity all along? So it turns out even celebrity teachers have exceptions. Realizing the reactions of everyone, he began to speculate slightly, eagerly asking Sun, the steward, who's the newcomer right now? Sun Kong promptly interrupted with a smug tone, none other than our venerable master, Zhang, known as Yang Zhuan. Surprisingly, upon hearing this definite confirmation, the two fools finally lost their composure, shocked to speechlessness, standing frozen for a few seconds, temporarily turning pale as stone right on the spot. Simultaneously, a black pearl appeared, surrounded by swirling black smoke, manifesting in Zhang Zhuan's consciousness. What's this poison? Never seen it before. Heavenly Way Bookstore has collected over a thousand volumes on poisons, detailing many attributes and energies of toxic creatures, but the dark energy in this body doesn't match any known type. It can't be expelled with inner energy, nor can it be forced in. This dark energy seems to encounter a natural enemy. Once poisoned, it directly pierces through the meridians, lurking within the body's cells, gradually causing destruction. At this moment, Zhang Zhuan found it strange. Heavenly Way Bookstore in Tian, Swan City, has no records of this type of poison, indicating that the grade of this poison surpasses Tian, Tuan City. But when he was poisoned, I do not know. The people he encountered today also didn't use poison. Moreover, Liu, a master, once said that Tian Xuan City never had poison masters. Thinking to this point, Zhang Zhuan immediately came up with a terrifying thought. Could it be that the original owner of this body didn't die from drinking alcohol, but from this poison? But as a mere orphan, without kin or grudges against anyone, and being useless, who could it be? How could someone use such a terrifying poison without anyone in Tian Xuan City noticing? who would not directly use a palm technique to subdue, but instead use this complicated method. After pondering for a while, he still had no clue. Forget it. For now, my inner energy can temporarily control this poison. If I want to detoxify, first I must identify what poison it is. Tan Swan City is lacking in books on poisons. It seems I'll have to go to a place with more books. He sat down on the bed exhausted at this moment. I want to resolve matters here first then return to Zhang Zhuan's identity and go back to find the three respected masters for further surveillance. Speaking of the three respected masters, they changed their clothes and headed to Hong Fan Academy. Upon hearing about Zhang Zhuan and Lu Xin's situation, they became intrigued. We want to disguise ourselves and see what kind of character Zhang Zhuan is. But upon arriving at the classroom, they hesitated, feeling somewhat out of expectation as they saw the classroom gate worn by termites and the walls peeling off. Under these circumstances, to still maintain a bit of calmness in teaching, to neither be arrogant in victory nor discouraged in defeat, it seems he has disregarded more serious matters, truly impressive. Then they opened the gate slightly, peering through the soundproof crack, only to see Wang Dao and Zhao and Feng discussing the knowledge they had learned today. When Wang Dao reviewed the learned knowledge, Teacher Zhang teaches the gathering essence realm like this, by harmonizing the breath, transforming the spiritual energy of heaven and earth into a part of the body, instead of forcibly absorbing it. In this way, the energy will regard that human body as a conduit, thereby increasing the convergence of spiritual energy. The three respected masters eavesdropping outside the door, upon hearing the conversation, immediately showed a surprised expression. I've heard this theory from the mouth of our own master, and yet, Zhang Zhuan can expound it so magically. Suddenly, Master Zhan accidentally bumped into Master Cheng, while eavesdropping, causing him to cry out. Master Liu, noticing the commotion, cautioned them. Keep quiet, or we'll be exposed. After listening in for ten minutes and grasping the entire story, Master Liu, deeply impressed, stroked his beard. To be able to explain in such detail, a mere gathering essence realm as such, this teacher Zhang truly possesses profound knowledge of cultivation, perhaps even surpassing him. It's likely this teacher has long reached the realm of profound understanding. Hearing this, 
Master John was greatly astonished, for the realm of profound understanding is a cultivation that has reached the Grand Master realm, where one's power forms a new sect with understanding of cultivation. Master Jean, astonished, reiterated, the realm of profound understanding, a cultivation that has reached the Grand Master realm, where one's power forms a new sect with understanding of cultivation. Could it be that Zhang Chuan has already reached the level of the Grand Master realm? Master Chang added further, it's not just the Grand Master realm that attains profound understanding. Some talented teachers can also form their own system through perception and study of cultivation. With theories like this, imparted to students, immediate comprehension is achieved, incredibly effective. Such teachers are rare gems, hard to find in the world. It's unexpected that this would be teacher Zhang Zhuan. Indeed, not to mention these students, even Master Zhang gains new insights into cultivation when hearing such arguments. Using the simplest language to explain complex cultivation, anyone can understand. This level of proficiency truly commands respect. Next, Master Chang continued. With this cultivation theory, the cultivation speed is bound to be very fast. Even a martial artist in the first heaven, gathering essence realm, I'm afraid, can break through within a year. As the three were marveling, Zhao and Feng's voice came from inside the courtyard. It's a pity that we are just invited listeners, only qualified to hear teacher Zhang's simplest explanations. If we were personally taught by him, we would have reached a breakthrough in realm level long ago. Upon hearing this, the three masters were stunned, realizing that these two were just invited listeners. At this moment, Zhao and Feng chimed in again. When Wang Yin was still in the early stages of the first heaven, gathering essence realm, after receiving personal instruction from teacher Zhang, in just a short span of ten days, his cultivation advanced rapidly. Just last night, Gi even successfully broke through to the Danchen realm. What's this? Breaking through from the early stages of the first heaven, gathering essence realm to the Danchen realm in just ten days. Upon hearing this, all three were dumbfounded. It must be known that historically, martial artists in the first heaven, gathering essence realm, gather spiritual energy throughout their bodies, with meridians not sufficiently infused with spiritual energy to facilitate breakthroughs to the Danchen realm. This means that this realm level must progress step by step, unable to skip stages. Master Cheng also agreed. This realm level, without undergoing years of arduous training, is difficult to break through. Even if we were to personally guide, it would take at least half a year to achieve a breakthrough. Meanwhile, Master Li wore a slightly tense expression, stroking his beard with skepticism. If this is true, doesn't it mean that Teacher Zhang's teaching level is higher than ours? At that moment, a loud noise suddenly echoed in the courtyard, causing the three to become suspicious as they looked towards the source of the sound. What's that? Curious, they decided to investigate and found Yuan Tao relentlessly practicing hitting stone blocks. Peering over the wall, after witnessing this tumultuous scene, Master Liu couldn't help but remark, Such formidable defense, the defensive strength is formidable indeed. Even a martial artist in the sixth, Heaven Azure Aperture Realm would find it difficult to break through. Now Master Cheng noticed Wang Yin not far away. Quick, look over there. They saw Wang Yin swiftly moving his arms and legs, effortlessly shattering several stone blocks in a matter of moments. The three were astonished and marveled. Such strength, it must be at least 400 pounds, and moreover, the fluidity in his movements and the force he exerts with each kick are remarkable. It was then that Master Liu suddenly realized, slapping Master Chang on the shoulder. Right, that's Wang Yin with the injured leg, isn't it? How could he produce such immense strength with an injured leg? Master Zhang also seemed to notice something dreadful. Master Liu, look over there. They only saw Zheng Yang concentrating with closed eyes. So Master Liu remarked, There's nothing strange. This is just a common technique used by practitioners of healing arts. However, Master Zhang urged him to pay attention to Zheng Yang's movements, and upon closer inspection, he immediately realized that Zheng Yang was summoning dragon spiritual energy from spear intent, which astonished the teacher. Oh my, this is, this is. Caught up in the excitement, Master Liu completely forgot he was sneaking a look, causing a slight disturbance that caught Yuan Tao's attention. Luckily, the three of them managed to remain unnoticed. Standing by the corner of the wall, Master Liu exclaimed in amazement, That's right, it's spear intent, precisely. His expression turned pale, 
for those who could unleash spear intent were no younger than 40 years old. Yet here was a teenager of barely 10, exuding energy and grasping spear intent, albeit at a basic level, but still genuine and valuable. Master Cheng suddenly recalled, Zheng Yang, when he first entered, Teacher Wang didn't choose him because he only knew some basic healing techniques. Yet, in a short period, he has become a master of healing arts, capable of unleashing spear intent. All three masters were astounded. This is no longer teaching. It's a miracle. After observing Zhang Zhuan's students' training, the three masters were greatly surprised. They all sat down with the same thought. Who exactly is Teacher Zhang Zhuan? Meanwhile, Zhang Zhuan sighed in relief and thought to himself, after these few days, I've finally settled all the financial matters. Now, I can finally relax. But tomorrow is teacher evaluation day, and I don't even know how those kids have been progressing in their cultivation. Lost in thought, he was called out, Teacher Zhang. Turning around, he recognized Bai Zun and Wang Yu. Bai Zun said, It's perfect timing. We were just about to go to the academy to find you. It saves us the trouble if you're here. Teacher Zhang asked, Looking for me? The girl chuckled and said, We have a matter to trouble you with for a moment. Teacher Zhang inquired, What is it? If it's something I can help with, I'll definitely assist. Huan Yu explained, As Teacher Zhang knows, we previously went to Master Lu Chen's house to request a longevity painting. We asked for it to celebrate someone else's longevity, but the painting Master Lu Chen drew for us as a gift was incomparable. However, I'm afraid that if the old Master Lu sees the painting, he will want to meet the artist. We'll have to trouble you again. So we like to invite you to accompany us to the longevity celebration. Upon hearing the invitation to the longevity celebration, Teacher John declined. I'm not interested in this matter. Let's just forget about it. As he responded, he thought to himself, regardless of whose longevity celebration it is, it has nothing to do with me. I can't be bothered to go over there and congratulate someone else. Baizun pleaded, Teacher John, please come along. This landlord is very generous. Even His Majesty Shen Tu personally attends. Zhang Zhuan inquired. Even His Majesty attends. The owner of the small bookstore replied. Indeed, not just His Majesty. Actually, to tell you the truth, the one who invited the master to join is not us, but my teacher, Master Liu Lai. Teacher Zhang asked in surprise. Liu Lai is your teacher, and he knows about me. Receiving this information made him extremely anxious. He thought to himself, Now, my identity is Zhang Chuan, not Yang Zhuan. Does Master Liu Li know who I am? Did I get exposed? If I did, it's not just about impersonating a teacher, which is a serious offense. A small figure like me wouldn't know much about these matters anyway, and there's no way to explain it. Young Master Ba continued, Not only Master Liu Li, but even Master Zhan and Chang know especially yesterday when I told them that the one who could paint the soul-refining stage painting. They were all excited, almost jumping for joy. Huan Yu continued, Master Zhang, this is a great opportunity. I have never seen you take interest in anyone like this before. Once chosen by you, becoming a teaching assistant is just a matter of time. Furthermore, you still have a supplementary profession. With this status, you can essentially directly sit for the examination to become a master. He looked puzzled and asked, Supplementary profession, able to directly sit for the master's examination. What does that mean? She explained again, A master not only guides in cultivation, but also in other professions. Therefore, besides having a rich source of knowledge, the most important thing is to have a certain supplementary profession. Simply put, mastering a supplementary profession qualifies you to sit for the master's examination at one star. Two professions qualify you for two stars. Of course, the requirements for this supplementary profession are increasing. As the rank increases, so do the requirements. If you want to sit for the one-star master's examination, then proficiency in this calligraphy profession is already sufficient. Understanding his words, he thought, so that's it. No wonder any profession can be guided by a master. The origin lies here. Realizing something, he continued, that's right, I have a one-star master pill refiner profession. Isn't it true that, as long as I obtain the position of a disciple, I qualify to sit for the master's examination? Saying this, he joyfully thought, With this status, wherever I go, people will respect me. Basically, no one dares to cause trouble.
It seems like I need to quickly sit for the master's examination. Huang Yu continued. To become a master, one must first become a teaching assistant. To become a teaching assistant, it is mandatory to apprentice under a genuine master, allowing them to guide the way. Bai Zun nodded and added, Master Zhang can also apprentice under one of the three individuals, Lai Le, John Qian, or Zheng Fei. He asked, Are you suggesting I apprentice under one of them? At this point, Teacher Zhang felt something was amiss and thought, Two days ago, these three individuals often came to the mansion, always expressing their intention to apprentice under me. I feel like this Yang Zuan identity will soon vanish, so I haven't responded yet. If this Zhang Zhuan identity truly apprentices under one of the three, and then they apprentice under Yang Zhuan, then I am my own master and disciple. The key is not to let them meet me. Once exposed, what will happen? If it's true, sooner or later, I'll suffer from a split personality. So let it be, I won't think about it anymore. However, it's beneficial to visit the three masters with the Zhang Zhuan identity. Firstly, it can introduce me to everyone, and secondly, it's an opportunity to inquire about the unique energy within them. After pondering, the teacher asked again, When does the birthday celebration start, and who is this, Tian Lao, that all three masters and their disciples have come to congratulate? Bai Zun replied, Today is the celebration, it's just in time. Tian Lao's words are concurrent with our journey. While on the way, Wan Yu explained, Tian Lao used to be a teacher at Bai Wu Academy. Masters Liu, John, and Cheng were all his students. Although he didn't teach cultivation, he was still considered a mentor. This time, it's his 90th birthday celebration. If the three masters are in Tian Zhuan City, they must attend the celebration. The teacher asked curiously, So Tian Lao doesn't teach cultivation, but is still a teacher. The girl continued, Tian Lao teaches the art of tea. He's a genuine tea master. Those like Master Liu only studied with him for a short period because they wanted to take the master's examination, so they're not considered full-fledged students, only half-disciples. Arriving at Tian Lao's courtyard, many people had gathered there. Master Zhang, come with me. Master Liu probably hasn't arrived yet. We can wait over there, the girl said. Seeing Master Zhang looking a bit bewildered, she took his hand and led him inside. As they entered, a young person called out, Huang Yu, you're here. Suddenly, Bai Zun grew angry and exclaimed loudly, You dare to address Huang Yu like that. I suggest you keep your distance or don't blame me for being impolite. The other person calmly replied, Impolite? We've fought before, haven't we? Besides, this is my house. When Huang Yu visits my home, I have to fulfill my duties as the host. Do you have a problem with that, Bai, little prince? You're being too overbearing. The girl ignored them and walked past the two, saying, All right, let's go greet Master Chan for his birthday. If you want to fight, we can settle it later. The green-haired person turned to her and said, Huang Yu, don't worry. I don't bother dealing with this guy either. All he knows is fighting all day long. I just learned a new tea brewing technique. Come. Let me take you to enjoy it. It's absolutely calming. Drink it a few times, and you'll enter a state as tranquil as still water. Huan Yu sat down and declined. No need. I'm here waiting for Master Liu. The person chuckled and replied. That's fine too. Coincidentally, I also want to pay my respects to Master Liu. Let's wait here together then. Huan Yu, by the way, when this guy sees a stranger sitting next to you, he'll start questioning immediately. The owner of the small bookstore responded, Oh, let me introduce you. This is Master Zhang Zhuan from Hong Thang Academy. She then turned to the teacher and said, Master Zhang, this is Tian Long, Master Tian's sole disciple and the owner of this place. Tian Long inquired, Zhang Zhuan from Hong Thang Academy, are you the Zhang Zhuan who wanted to evaluate the teachers with Master Lu Shen? Upon learning Zhang Zhuan's identity, Tian Long remarked, Master Lu Shen, the most renowned teacher at Hong Thang Academy. Daring to evaluate teachers with him. You've got guts, truly admirable. Bai Zun angrily asked, Tian Long, what do you mean? He retorted, I don't mean anything. It's up to you to understand. If you don't know your limits, you'll only exhaust yourself. Bai, infuriated, responded, be clear about what you're saying. It's not about not knowing one's limits. Master Zhang is just modest and doesn't want to show off. Chat Long questioned. Master? What kind of master? 
Can anyone just casually use the title master? It's a title earned when a certain profession reaches a certain level of proficiency. Just like my grandfather pursued the path of tea mastery to the fullest extent before being titled a tea master. A teacher at Hong Thien Academy in their early 20s, just being called teacher is already quite respectable, let alone master. Truly, some people have no sense of propriety. At that moment, you and you entered, and seeing the distinguished guests, Tian Long rushed out to greet him. Tian Long pays respects to Master Yuan Yu. Yuan Yu chuckled in response. Ah, Tian Long, you're here too. Then he approached Teacher Zhang and bowed. Master Zhang, it's been a while since we last met. He awkwardly replied. Wasn't it just a few days ago? Hearing that, Tian Long thought. The senior brother said they hadn't seen each other in a while. But that's just a polite remark. This guy just exposed himself. Doesn't he know how to converse properly? And earlier, calling him master. Master Yuan Yu, a genuine medical master, and a formal medical practitioner, respectfully runs to greet someone younger than himself, addressing him as master. Yu and Yu chuckled, yes, mainly because I have the master's painting hanging in my room, observing and studying day and night. The more I look, the more I realize the vast difference in skill levels. Hence why I forgot we only met a few days ago. Teacher Zhang remarked, What's there to observe and learn from a painting? If you want to learn, I can teach you. The old man joyfully responded, That would be greatly appreciated. Chen Long was bewildered for a moment, thinking about Yu and Yu. Is he still a master? Why does he look like a student right now? Learning from this kid, what could he possibly learn? After pondering, he turned to Bai Zun and asked, He, Bai Zun chuckled knowingly and replied, Master Zhang is a master of calligraphy. Even Master Lu Chen greatly admires him. Someone like him, if not worthy of the title master, then who is? Tian Long startled himself and thought, a master of calligraphy. This guy isn't even 20 years old yet, with a terrible reputation at the academy. What level of skill has he actually achieved to earn such reverence, even from a renowned calligrapher like Yu and Yu? Since I was seven, I've been studying the art of tea, and now, after 18 years, I've only reached the intermediate level of tea mastery, mastering basic brewing techniques. How could someone younger than me attain the rank of master? Yu and Yu said, in that case, I'll go over there first, and we can meet teacher Zhang later when there's time. The teacher replied, go ahead. If you want to learn, find me when you have the time. Titan Long, feeling uneasy, thought to himself, who is this guy to be considered a master? And to have even Master Yu and Yu himself come to inquire, it mustn't be simple. That's right, they all come today. But I only thought about waiting for Huang Yu. Almost forgot about them. Let's wait a bit longer and see how they react when they meet each other. As he was pondering, he suddenly noticed someone outside and called out Lu Shen. Wang Chao, over here. Lu Shen, you've come without informing me. Lu Shen stepped in and replied, we just arrived. Wang Chao immediately spotted Zhang Zhuan and asked, Tian Long wasn't Tian Leo's birthday celebration invitation only. How come everyone can just come in? Bai, the son of a wealthy family, replied. The invitations were checked. Teaching assistant Guan Yu and Prince Bai were personally invited by me. As for teacher Zhang here, even though I didn't invite him, if he's their guest, I can't say much. Wang Chao, feeling uncomfortable, said, Guest? Even a low-ranking teacher can be considered a guest. Lu Shen then approached Teacher Zhang and said, This is embarrassing, Teacher Zhang. Wang Chao has always been outspoken, without much regard for rules. However, it's true that you shouldn't be here. It's better to leave before Miss Wang Yu gets scolded because of you, and don't tarnish Hong Thien Academy's reputation. Miss Wang Yu asked, Lu Shen, What do you mean? Scolded for what? And why would our reputation be tarnished? He replied, I mean no offense. It's just not appropriate for someone of your status to be here. Miss Wang Yu, I know you're a teaching assistant, enjoying the favor and trust of Master Liu. But please, don't cause any trouble. This is Tian Lao's birthday celebration. It's best to be a little more cautious. Tian Lao was Master Liu's teacher, and bringing a teacher with a less than stellar reputation here might have set Master Liu. It could be quite troublesome. The girl was about to continue when Zhang Xuan interrupted, saying, Making a scene for half the day turns out to accuse me of being a low-ranking teacher with a bad reputation. 
If that's the case, why would Teacher Lu want to conduct a teacher evaluation with me? Wouldn't that also tarnish your esteemed reputation? He retorted, You're just a stepping stone for me to rise above. If anyone's to blame, blame your bad luck for encountering me. Wang Chao chimed in, Moreover, tomorrow's teacher evaluation will surely attract the three respected masters. By then, Lu Shen will showcase his teaching achievements and make these masters see him in a different light. Lu Shen may soar to become a true teaching assistant, while you'll remain just a stepping stone. Chen Long added, Indeed, this time, Master Liu's visit to the royal capital is to congratulate my grandfather, just one of the purposes. The main goal is to recruit Lu Shen as a teaching assistant. It was supposed to be confidential, but Master Liu wrote a letter to my grandfather. I just happened to see it and learned about it. Wang Chao joyfully exclaimed, Then let's congratulate Lu Shen in advance. At that moment, the three respected masters had just arrived, and everyone bowed in respect. Li Lai turned to ask his disciple, Huan Yu, have the others arrived? As the girl was about to point them out, he turned to Tian Long, shaking hands and saying, This young man, with such a noble and handsome appearance, must be Zhang Zhuan, finally meeting the real person after searching for so long. Helplessly, teacher Zhang remarked, Just a few days without seeing each other, and these three have turned into fools. Huan Yu interjected, Master Liu, He's not a teacher, but the grandson of Tan Long. Li Lai exclaimed in frustration. No, that's not true. What are you pretending for? You ruined my surprise. Teacher Zhang, where are you? The real person raised his hand, saying, I am Zhang Zhuan. All three rushed over. Li Lai exclaimed joyfully, You are indeed Teacher Zhang, truly elegant as jade, refined as a breeze. Zhang Fei added, Truly the epitome of a teacher from Tian Zuan City. Impressive. Very impressive. Zhang Qian continued. Exactly with such a demeanor. I recognize you at first sight. Zhang Xuan asked helplessly. I wonder what the three esteemed masters are looking for me for. Li Lai replied. Oh, it's too crowded here. Let's find somewhere else to talk. Lu Shen stepped forward and said, I am Lu Shen, the star teacher of Hong Thine Academy. Ignoring him, the man said, Oh, I already know. I heard it from His Highness. All right, step aside. I have something to discuss with Teacher Zhang. Don't interfere. Wang Chao, seeing this, asked through a transmitted voice, Didn't you have internal information? Weren't you the one who said Liu wrote a letter, expressing a desire to recruit Lu Shen as a disciple? Screw you, not even worth looking at. Looking at Tan Long, he replied, I did read that letter, but I genuinely don't know. At that moment, a servant came out and said, Li Master, John Master, Cheng Master, you're here. His Excellency asked me to come out and welcome you. Lei Lai then hinted, Teacher Zhang, let's go in together. Tian Lao used to be my tea mentor, very kind-hearted. The three masters, along with Zhang Zhuan, followed the servant to Tian Lao's chamber. Inside the room, an old man delicately placed tea leaves into the teapot with graceful hands then slowly poured tea into the cup, saying, Please, have a seat. Liu Lai bowed and said, Tian Leo's tea art is indeed as sharp as ever, like clouds drifting and water flowing. Jane Fei followed. The fragrance of this tea is still untasted, yet it has already garnered endless praise. Tian Lao chuckled in response, Ha ha, Liu Lai, don't tease me anymore, but the guest behind you is. Liu Lai interjected, Yes. Master Tian, this is Zhang Zhuan, the outstanding young teacher from Hong Thang Academy. He asked, Zhang Zhuan, the outstanding teacher from Hong Thang Academy, isn't it Lu Shen? Li Lai replied, Teacher Lu is also exceptional, but Teacher Zhang is no less outstanding, even more so. While asking, more outstanding, Tian Lao thought, this Li Lai, who previously wrote a letter wanting to recruit Lu Shen as a disciple, why did he suddenly bring this young man here? Then he continued, To receive your commendation in this manner truly shows your worthiness and qualification to sit here. However, earning the privilege to drink this tea is not as simple as it seems. One must overcome challenges to be worthy. Zhang Xuan asked in bewilderment, Challenge. Liu Master chuckled from behind, saying, Excellent, Teacher Zhang. This is a great opportunity. You must seize it. Zhang Xian added, Perhaps you don't know, 
but Teacher Tan's tea, whether it's the tea leaves or the brewing method, is very exquisite. It's the dream of countless cultivators. Zhang Fei continued, Moreover, Teacher Tian's calming tea, after consumed by a martial artist, can quickly reach a state of mind like still water, a realm level. Although it only lasts for a short time in the body, it can make the person feel the wonders of mental scenery, which is immensely beneficial for future progress. Hearing this, Zhang Zhuan thought to himself, to reach a realm level, a mind like still water in a short time. If one achieves a mind like still water, they can concentrate on anything without being affected by external factors. No wonder they emphasize the importance of drinking tea so seriously. And there's even a challenge. Although I've reached the elementary level of a mind like still water, if the tea is truly potent, perhaps sensing the intermediate or even higher level might be worthwhile. With that in mind, he asked, does Tai and Lao not know what the challenge entails? The old man replied, Don't rush to call Lu Shen in from outside. Lu Shen stepped in and respectfully greeted. Lu Shen pays his respects to Tan Lao. The old man then said, You all are outstanding teachers of Hong Fan Academy. Unfortunately, there's only one cup of tea, so we'll have to compete for it. Here's the plan. I'll pose a question to both of you, and whoever wins will have the privilege to drink the tea. Is this arrangement agreeable to you, Li Li? Mr. Lai happily replied, I will follow Tian Lao's wishes. Understanding the situation, Zhang Zhuan chuckled to himself. So this old man's challenge is a sham. The key is to create an opportunity for Lu Shen. Therefore, anything regarding drinking tea is just a pretense, allowing Lu Shen to demonstrate his favor from Liu Master as genuine. Tian Lao invited the two. You both are competing for the tea, so this time, the competition will revolve around the discussion of tea art. Liu Lai spoke up, Tai and Lao, Teacher Zhang is a master of divination. As far as we know, he has never been exposed to tea art. This tea art challenge seems somewhat inappropriate. The old man replied, Oh, master of painting. Besides tea art, I also have some knowledge in painting. Moreover, I've just received a painting. Lu Shen's family is well versed in scholarly arts, and his father is also a master painter. Growing up in such an environment, he must have some understanding of painting, probably more than tea art. Why don't I present a painting for both of you to critique? Whoever gives a more accurate analysis wins. What do you think? Both bowed in agreement, saying, We will follow Tian Leo's arrangement. Zhang Zhuan smiled knowingly and thought, If it were a different competition, I might have to go to the Heavenly Way bookstore to learn bit by bit. But for painting, there's no need at all. Tian Lao then rose from his seat and spoke as he walked. If you have no objections, then here, I have a painting gifted by Master Liu, which is considered flawless. Every time it's seen, it garners endless praise. Today, consider yourselves fortunate to be able to appreciate this masterpiece. I truly hope that during my lifetime, I can witness such a masterful work with my own eyes. Without further ado, let me show it to you. Zhang Qian, Zheng Fei. Both of you are also well-versed in painting, so please offer your opinions. As he spoke, the old man unfolded the painting. Upon seeing it, Master Chang used telepathy to inquire. Is this from Master Liu? Liu Lai chuckled in response. Yes, indeed it is. Let's observe. Lu Shen looked for a moment before saying, This is the five realms of calligraphy and painting. Tai and Lao nodded and replied, Exactly. It's the five realms of calligraphy and painting. It's just a pity that the author didn't leave their name or the title of the painting. Otherwise, I would visit their home to inquire. All right, let's begin. Observe this painting and then comment on it. Whoever offers a more accurate commentary wins, and it will be judged by me and the three masters. This way, there's no doubt about fairness. If Teacher Zhang is regarded as a master of painting, then it's fitting for him to comment first. Zhang Zhuan Feeling embarrassed, said, Teacher Lu, please go first. Teacher Lu chuckled and replied, Sure, I won't be polite then. Just hope that if I lose later, you won't find excuses. After addressing the other party, he stood up and presented, The five realms of calligraphy and painting, left by the Grand Master Realm. I dare not critique it myself. If there's anything wrong later, I hope you'll consider it as an exchange. This painting, although the author didn't leave a name, carries lofty sentiments. I presume that when this painting was created, the Grand Master Realm must have been standing on a vast grassland, feeling the magnificent and serene beauty before them, 
with a joyful mood, hence leaving behind this timeless masterpiece with a stroke of the brush. Just one look, and you can feel a vast prairie hit in your eyes, with deer leisurely grazing, flowers competing to bloom. The content and technique inside are very clear. This painting employs a dual technique, capturing the essence of the phenomena first, then portraying the grand scene. Zhang Zhuan smiled and asked, Dual technique? Isn't that soaring dragons on the left and right? After hearing Zhang Zhuan's question, Lu Shen reacted sharply and asked, Soaring dragons on the left and right, do you know what this phrase means? Soaring dragons on the left and right is a method used by craftsmen outside the city to meet deadlines, similar to printing. Drawing a painting every day, over time, becomes a skill, and only then can this method be used. Look closely at these details, how vividly this Grandmaster Realm handles them. How could they use the soaring dragons on the left and right technique? And look at these wildflowers, clearly visible to the point where you can see every detail. Even that deer, you can see the fur on its body. From this point, it can be seen that this painting definitely cannot be completed in a flash. Even a Grandmaster Realm must spend at least two to three days. Only with meticulous attention over a long period like that can the details of the painting be expressed perfectly. The subtle implications do not allow viewers to find any issues. It must be said, the temperament and patience of this person are not something ordinary people can achieve. Finally, this painting with its ancient style scene, although the artist's name is not mentioned, through years of experience in viewing paintings, one can still roughly guess. Teacher Zhang asked in surprise, Oh, can you guess who it is? Teacher Lu continued, A grandmaster with such a heart and meticulousness, in the ten countries around here, in the past hundred years, there have only been seven. Moreover, being able to paint plants and animals so vividly, I'm afraid in all the big cities around here, there's only senior Yun Shao King who can do it, because only he is still alive in this world, so I guess this painting must be done by him. Tian Lao expressed satisfaction. Well done, well done. Very insightful analysis. Thorough reasoning. All right, it's Teacher Zhang's turn now. Zhang Zhuan asked again. Is it my turn now? Are you sure you want me to speak? Lu Shen arrogantly asked. What's the matter? Didn't I finish speaking earlier? Do you want to speak now, or do you feel you have nothing left to say? Teacher Zhang scratched his head in response. No, actually at first, I couldn't think of any words. After thinking about it, I only have four words. But before speaking, I want to ask Master Liu, did Wang Yu give you this painting? Liu Lai replied, That's right, a few days ago. Wang Yu gave it to me, so there's no problem. Actually, I painted this painting. The young man spoke briefly, and Liu Shen, incredulous, asked, You painted it? Ha 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 ha. Do you know the meaning of the five realms of calligraphy in painting? Why didn't you say that you are Yun Shaoking? the Grandmaster Realm himself, Zhang Chuan. Even if you can't determine it, just admit defeat. There's no need to pretend like this. Old Tian, feeling uncomfortable, asked, Liu Lai, is this the person you recommended to be our disciple? Unbelievable, arrogant, and presumptuous. Is this kind of person worthy of being a teacher? Liu Lai hesitantly replied, Teacher Tian, this painting was actually drawn by Teacher Zhang Chuan. The old man exclaimed in surprise, He, he drew it. Lei Lai confirmed, Yes, this painting was drawn by Teacher Zhang himself a few days ago. Hearing this, old Tian couldn't believe it and thought, This, Liu Lai is a master. He wouldn't speak nonsense. It means that this painting, could it really be drawn by Teacher Zhang? Lu Shen disagreed and stood up, saying, I don't believe it. Even if he learned painting from his mother's womb, he couldn't have painted such a painting. Without arguing, Zhang Zhuan placed his hand on the painting, and the deer inside leaped out. Lu Shen exclaimed in surprise, This, this is the original soul. Only the creator of the painting can produce the original soul. Teacher Tian startled. A painting containing the author's entire heart and soul can fully communicate with their spirit. When the artwork reaches the five realms, as long as the author intervenes, it can automatically create the original soul. Teacher Zhang said, I painted this painting a few days ago at Master Lu Chen's mansion, not on the prairie, and I didn't use the soaring dragons on the left and right technique, but rather the method of using breath, a total of more than ten times, instead of the usual two to three days. Teacher Lu was astonished, thinking, 
soaring dragons on the left and right, more than ten breaths. Earlier, I even swore that the creator of this painting, even if they were a grandmaster realm, would have to spend at least two to three days, and furthermore, they were standing on the prairie. Yet the result is that this person painted it at our home, using such a short amount of time. It's even more astonishing that they used the printing technique of craftsmen on the street to depict the five realms of calligraphy and painting. Zhang Xuan, what level have you reached? Zhang Xuan replied, I have completed the assessment. Can we consider this challenge as my victory? Elder Tian, feeling despondent, said, You have won, Teacher Zhang. Here is your tranquil tea. But the young man declined, saying, Thank you, Elder Tian, but this tea is too precious. The whole room erupted in surprise as he explained, Tranquil tea is supposed to be clear-minded and serene, grown on the cold mountain peak. After the flowers bloom, they are used to brew tea, which can help maintain a person's mental state as calm as still water for 100 breaths. But these cups can only maintain it for 20 breaths. It's a waste to use such excellent tea in this manner. The old man asked in astonishment, How do you know that this tea can only maintain the realm level of the mind as calm as still water for 20 breaths? Zhang Zhuan replied, You just used the seven heart disturbance selective brewing method to brew the tea. And the teapot, teacups, and tea utensils are all King Deng cups made by the master Wu Kingzi himself. To brew this tea properly, you must wash your vegetarian clothes for seven days beforehand, adjusting your mental state to be as calm as still water. Unfortunately, the preparation of the tranquil tea did not achieve its greatest effect. Elder Tian asked, How do you know all of this? He thought to himself, According to legend, a true Grand Master Realm Tea Master can discern flaws in the tea through observation and smell, pointing them out to others, helping them progress. Could it be that he is not only a Grand Master Realm Calligrapher, but also a Grand Master Realm Tea Master? If that's the case, perhaps I can break through the final constraint and reach a higher realm level. Hearing this, Zhang Fei immediately asked, When Teacher Zhang arrived, didn't he claim to know nothing about tea mastery? Zhang Zhuan asked, how is it possible to see these issues now, even causing Elder Tan to forget his status and admit mistakes? Lai Lei question. Could it be that Teacher Zhang is also a Grand Master Realm Tea Master? Elder Tian suddenly knelt down and begged, Please, Teacher Zhang, help me identify where the mistake lies so that it can be corrected, not wasting such precious tea leaves. Teacher Zhang replied, To be honest, I initially didn't want to say much, but since you are sincere, I'll offer you a piece of advice. Luminous night flower ointment. Fine wine requires specialized utensils, let alone tea, tranquil tea. Hing Deng cups, although treasures left behind by the great master, clearly carry the attribute of fire. Fire is dry and hot. How can it soothe the spirit? This is the first point. In the way of tea mastery, purifying the mind involves more than just changing clothes and adhering to a vegetarian diet for seven days. It's a regrettable action. Without it, there's no purification of the mind, and those with noisy minds can't achieve true tranquility. How can they brew the most perfect tranquil tea? This is the second point. Consider these two points carefully. They may be helpful to your tea mastery. I have other matters to attend to, so I bid you farewell. Elder Tian bowed his head and said, Please wait, Teacher Zhang. Your two warnings have suddenly awakened me. This is a token of my appreciation. Liu Lai remarked, the leaves of the tranquil tea weigh about two tells. It seems that Teacher Zhang's suggestions may sound ordinary, but they are actually of great help to Elder Tian. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so generous. Master Zhang continued, In a year, Tian Xuan City produces about three tails, and now I'm giving away two tails. Zhang Fei remarked, He doesn't even drink tea. Just by looking at it, he can point out issues, prompting Elder Tian to willingly give tea. This Teacher Zhang, how much joy does he bring us that we don't even realize? Zhang Zhuan accepted the gift and replied, Then I won't be polite anymore. Thank you, Elder Tian. Outside, there was chatter and discussion. Wan Chao and Tian Long seemed to look down on Zhang Zhuan. Wan Chao said, Elder Tian and the three masters let that useless guy compete with Lu Shen. Chen Long responded, Wan Chao, Master Liu must have misunderstood Teacher Zhang a bit. Don't be too concerned about it. Bai Zun and the girl were worried about him. Do you think Teacher Zhang will feel stressed inside? Don't worry. He already gave the landscape painting to Elder Tian. 
If he knows that it was drawn by Teacher Zhang, he'll definitely be very happy. The door suddenly opened, and the mentor called out loudly, Tian Long, Tian Kang, come in. Zhang Zhuan walked out alone, not seeing Lu Shen anywhere. The mentor issued orders, saying, Teacher Zhang has helped me understand a lot. Today's longevity celebration, Tian Long, Tian Kang, you two go and arrange it yourselves. I want to digest a bit and may make some progress in the way of tea mastery. At Elder Tian's residence, Wang Chao exclaimed loudly, What's wrong with Senior Lu Shen? Lu Shen punched the wall hard, muttering, Hateful, despicable. I thought Elder Tian's longevity celebration today would bring a major breakthrough, leading to success as Master Liu's disciple. But it turns out that Zhang Zhuan ruined everything. What does a low-level teacher rely on anyway? Wang Chao replied, This kid must be only good at studying calligraphy and the way of tea. I don't think he's capable of teaching. As long as Senior wins tomorrow, we can definitely redeem this humiliation. Oh, by the way, Wang Chao, do you know any alchemists? Help me buy some pills. Wang Chao asked in surprise, Buy pills. Do you want them? That's not allowed. Although pills can increase cultivation in the short term, they're extremely harmful to students. It'll be difficult to progress later on. Lu Shen waved it off. We can't worry about that now. We have to win tomorrow. There's no turning back. Once we win and become disciples, within a year, I'll definitely become a master. By then, I'll help them solve this illness. Even make them wealthy for a lifetime. That's nothing. After this match, various opinions were discussed among students and teachers. Some teachers commanded, Who do you think will win? Of course, the foolish teacher Zhang. Is there even a need to discuss it? What qualifications does teacher Zhang have to compete with teacher Liu? Even if the academic affairs office intentionally made it difficult, causing him to rank last in the teacher assessment, it's not right. But he's been teaching for over a year, and what achievements has he made? Hey, isn't this true? Let me tell you, this guy teaches people to rush into the fire and get into trouble. Yet he dares to evaluate other teachers. His thick skin knows no bounds. However, others countered. But I heard that Teacher Zhang is noble, having reached the Azure Aperture Realm long ago. It's just that he pays attention to the Academy's reputation, so he refrains from speaking out. I also heard that the student who got into trouble did so intentionally by him, to help him break through and break his innate bottlenecks. Another person, skeptical, retorted, True or false, of course, it's true. I heard this from an acquaintance, guaranteed to be 100% accurate. On one side of the wall, Teacher Zhang was deeply engrossed in contemplation, paying no heed to the malicious words being uttered. You think tomorrow is the teacher evaluation day. Going to observe today might help some of those kids improve their skills further. At that moment, Yuan Tao and Liu Yang approached. Yuan Tao, carrying two boxes, inquired, Has Teacher Zhang returned? Zhang Zhuan gestured towards the object they were carrying. What are you two up to? This is ink. He grumbled. Ink? Why aren't you focusing on cultivation? What's the use of this ink? Yuan Tao stumbled for an explanation, and Liu Yang continued. Well, it's like this. After activating the innate yin body, Miss Zhao Ya became increasingly beautiful by the day, attracting many disciples who wanted to befriend her. Zhang Xuan was even more puzzled. Befriend? If someone comes looking for trouble, what's the use of ink? Just drive them away. For students like those, just drive them all away. But there's something. For the past two days, there have been three old goat-like figures wandering around here every day. Judging by their appearance, our students won't be able to handle them. So, I prepared the ink, intending to splash it on them. I've heard that ink is used to ruin reputations. Those old folks, if they're not straightforward, getting this thrown at them will surely make them stop meddling. Zhang Chuan propped his chin up with his hand, pondering. Those lecherous old men, you must not be teachers from the academy. Liu Yang replied confidently, No, they're not. Most teachers at the academy are well known, and surely none of them are like those. Just a glance and you could tell they're up to no good. Moreover, for the past two days, I've seen them sneaking around, always pointing towards Zhao Ya. Wang Yin always nods and smiles. Just a glance tells you they're not upright individuals. Pointing towards Zhao Ya like that. You all better be careful. If you encounter those three again, you might want to splash ink on them. 
You and Tao and Liu Yang chuckled gleefully. Yes, Teacher Zhang. We've said it before. You're the epitome of justice and fairness, not blaming us anymore. All right, after we're done with the ink, we'll come back here, and I'll personally guide each of them. He pushed the door inward and sighed as he stepped inside. Why does this academy admit all sorts of people? Suddenly, a few seconds later, there was a shrill cry from some people, and the voice was very familiar to Zhang Zhuan. What are you doing, you rascals? He startled. Could it be? He rushed outside to see both students had splashed ink on them. Yu and Tao pointed at Teacher Zhang. It's these shameless three, always peeping. Meanwhile, Liu Yang stood defensively to one side and said, At this age, still peeping at female students, aren't you ashamed? Those individuals were Cheng, the honorific tutor, Liu, the honorific tutor, Zhang, the honorific tutor. Who else could they be? All three were drenched in black ink. John Qian said, I told you not to dress casually. Now you're mistaken for peeping toms. Zhang Zhuan panicked. Those three lechers are you. He thought, honorific tutors should come openly to find me. What's the point of wearing casual clothes and hiding in a corner, playing such tricks? Yu and Tao turned and asked, Teacher Zhang, could it be a misunderstanding? What honorific tutor would behave like that, dressed like this, hiding in a corner, afraid of being discovered? Teacher Zhang, you must be certain. For the past two days, these three have been sneaking around here, peeking at us. If it's not for some shady intentions, then what is it? Zhang Chuan shouted loudly, You too, keep quiet. He punched each of them, knocking them to the ground. After some explanation from friends, Liu Yang and Yuan Tao finally realized they were indeed three honorific tutors. Zhang Chuan invited the three into the house to dry off saying, it's my negligence that led to this inconvenience for you. When you return, I'll discipline them to provide an explanation that satisfies you. Lai Lai, still drying himself, said, it's all right, it's all right. Ignorance is not a crime. If anyone is to blame, it's us for our previous mistakes. So, why have you three been hanging around here these days? Li Lai choked up, unable to continue. It's us. It's us. Zhang Qian, more relaxed chuckled. There's a friend of mine at Hong Fen Academy. We haven't had much to do lately, so we've been visiting him every day. The environment around here is quite pleasant, so we linger a bit longer. Zhang Xuan forced a smile. Pleasant environment, huh? He thought to himself, this place is the most chaotic, the worst in the academy. These three honorific tutors must not have experienced much outside to find this place pleasant. Moreover, I'd never heard of any friends of yours at Hong Fen Academy. If there were, they would have visited already. Zhang Fei brushed off the dust from his body and asked, Teacher Zhang, I suppose you know why we're here, right? Zhang Zhuan countered, The three honorific tutors want me to be their disciple, correct? The three honorific tutors nodded, Yes, that's right, all three of us have this intention. You can choose to join any one of our sects, and we'll gladly accept you. He chuckled and rubbed his head. Can I refuse this? All three were surprised. Refuse? Why? Wei Lai stroked his long beard and said, It seems we've been a bit hasty. Don't rush. Take your time to think it over. Tomorrow is not too late to give us an answer. You must understand, without the status of being a disciple of an honorific tutor, you cannot be recommended as an honorific tutor. You won't be able to take the honorific tutor examination. Oh, the teaching ability and aptitude you possess would be such a waste without becoming an honorific tutor. Zhang Zhuan reluctantly agreed. All right, I'll think about it. He thought to himself, I must become an honorific tutor eventually. But being asked to accept these three as my disciples is quite a headache. They always want to become Zhang's disciples. And if they become my disciples, they'll want me to be theirs. What kind of situation is this? 